In 1623, Margaret Lucas was born to an aristocratic family in Colchester, Essex. Throughout her childhood, she never received great education in mathematics, history, philosophy, or the classical languages. But she did have access to libraries, which made her a very enthusiastic reader. She began to put her ideas to paper at a very early age, and although it was improper for women to be publicly intellectual, she was allowed her intelligence in private with her brother, John. John was already a scholar, student of law, philosophy, and natural science, and was also fluent in many languages, including Greek and Latin. He would eventually become a founding member of the Royal Society. Through the Cavendish Circle meetings that were organised in the 1640s, Margaret interacted with many philosophers, the most notable being Thomas Hobbes. In 1643, seeking a life of independence, Lucas applied to be a lady-in-waiting at the court of Queen Henrietta Maria, leaving her family for the first time. When the Queen was exiled to France in 1644, Lucas accompanied her and shortly after met William Cavendish. They fell in love and married in 1645 and would remain in exile until the restoration of the crown in 1660. In the 17th century, it was highly unusual for a male publisher to print the works of a woman. Cavendish, however, was a brilliant and impressive writer who was able to publish many of her works without assistance, including her very first work. In her lifetime, she was regarded as mad, pretentious, peculiar, and genius. She finally received some recognition from her male peers in 1667 when she was offered an extremely rare invitation to participate in a meeting of the Royal Society. Cavendish was a serious natural philosopher at a time when women weren't formally educated in such topics. Soon after the publishing of Observations, Cavendish became the first woman to be invited to meetings of the Royal Society. At the age of 33, Cavendish published her autobiography, A True Relation of My Birth, Breeding and Life, in 1656. Her other works include orations, sociable letters, philosophical letters, the description of a new world, called The Blazing World, and more. She also wrote many plays, though she never performed herself, because she didn't want to be a cringy theatre kid. Though she did create works in other genres, most of Cavendish's writing was philosophical, she believed that philosophical inquiry wasn't a matter of attempting to understand the unknown, but rather satisfying the curiosity of things that have already gained attention and have proven to be real or factual. Margaret Cavendish died in London December of 1673 and was buried at Westminster Abbey. Her husband arranged for a monument by a Dutch sculptor named Grinling Gibbons to be created in the north transept of the Abbey. The epitaph reads, Her name was Margaret Lucas, youngest daughter of Lord Lucas, Earl of Colchester, a noble family, for all the brothers were valiant and all the sisters virtuous. My mama, she just made me take out the trash. My life is so hard. <laughs> Falling apart. I'm a Republican. I'm a Jesus lover, y'all. Real girls play with guns. I like girls who hunt. Go to church with me. Oh, yeah. I love a church girl. A Jesus loving girl. A Republican. Screw Biden. We need that Trump. Get him back. Build that wall. <laughs> Goodness gracias. Yeah. My life is pain. I don't know what the front of a hat means. BMW championship? Like, what does that mean? Because <sighs> of my tiny female brain. If I were a guy like this all the time, then I'd understand things. I'm not a misogynist, I swear. What's something really dumb men say? Wait, hold on. Why do girls wear so much makeup? I don't understand. Why can't a girl just be natural? I mean, I don't like pimples, though. And I don't like stretch marks. 
But if you wear makeup, that makes you fake. You're a liar. You're catfishing me. <laughs> Up. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, I dropped my pencil. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, that was such a bad take. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I messed it up. Do like something cool. Do something cool. Do something cool. Do something cool. That's not cool! <laughs> Do something cool. Do something cool. <laughs> okay, that was cool. Alright, that works. This is a joke, by the way. This is all a joke. <laughs> Where am I for you, Amy? <laughs> I mean, you're not directing very well. Why did you wait? Is this is due today? It's, yeah. Why would you wait till the morning and it's due? Say something to the camera if you want. Hello, camera. Hello, camera. <laughs> All right. <laughs>